I'm Jeff Zack, the president of Z Supply in Muskegon, Michigan, where we manufacture EasyFlex, the best value in underground supply for outdoor wood boilers. I'm here today to talk about our value as it pertains to the style of product that we make. What I'm referring to is the wrapped style of product that has a radiant barrier on the outside of it. The reason I'm here today is because it's become apparent to me uh, from a review of some of the websites that are out there of the manufacturers and resellers of this type of uh, wrap product that there are some deep uh, misconceptions uh, or misunderstandings about uh, our values pertains to these products. Uh, for an example, uh, one uh, manufacturer's website that I visited, a company that has both a three wrap and a five wrap, um, touts an R value of 33. Uh, they make the point that uh, the base insulation has an R value of 11 and so you take that times three for their triple wrap product and that gives their product an R value of 33. First let's examine how the manufacturers of the uh, foil foam foil products uh, get the R value uh, that they use for their product. So they place the uh, radiant barrier material uh, the foil foam foam material in the middle of this cavity and then they apply a three-quarter inch board on one side and on the other side perhaps another three-quarter inch board or maybe a piece of uh, drywall and then this entire construction is measured and that's how they get the R value. Now that we have an understanding of how the manufacturers of the radiant barrier products come up with an R value for their products, let's see if that R value can apply toward the products that we manufacture and the others manufacture that use a wrap style of the radiant barrier around the PEX. First of all, let's try this. Obviously, it's not going to fit. In fact, if you think about it, if we were going to get an R value of 11 all around these two pieces of PEX with this product, we'd have to have a 5 inch construction, the two 1 and 8 inch OD pieces of PEX, and another 5 inch construction for a total of over 11 inches. Now if you wanted to get an R33, how would you do that? Well, you'd have to have this times three for 15 inches and then another 15 inches on the other side of the PEX for a total system of over 30 inches. It's obvious then if you think about it that there's no way that the wrap style products can have an R33 inside of a four inch casing. So am I saying that wrapped products like ours are not effective, that they don't perform well? Absolutely not. Our product, EasyFlex, performs extremely well. We did temp loss testing on our product in January of 2012. We found that under a low to 63.5 thousand BTUs and at five gallons per minute, we lost less than one degree per hundred foot with EasyFlex. In fact, the number was 0.87 degrees per 100 foot. Now these tests were done at the steady state. They're the average of three readings um, for each test and we had a contractor do it uh, in a situation where we really had no say about the results except for delivering of course a quality product. Now temp loss testing is a much more valid way of determining whether or not these products work than our values that really do not apply from one industry to another. Okay. While we're on the subject of R values, let's talk about the R value claims of some other manufactured products that are available in the marketplace. And this is one of them I'd like to talk about. The manufacturer of this product claims an R value of 25. Well, that'd be pretty good. Um, but uh, standard uh, polyethylene insulation, which is what this is made with, really only has an R value of around three. Now our value of our silver foam insulation which we use to make uh, um, EasyFlex has about a 40 percent advantage over that. So uh, per inch of, e uh, of silver foam insulation we have an R value of about 4.26. Let's go back to this product again. Um, in order to get the R value of 25 they have to go across the entire dimension 
of the product. So they get an R value 25 by measuring all the way across. That doesn't seem like an appropriate way to measure R value to me, but you can decide that. Now, finally, let's talk about one manufacturer that is extremely honest about their R values, and that's Watts. Uh, and I just want to say hooray to Watts for being extremely honest and forthright about how uh, about the R values in their products. This is Watts um, uh, R Flex. Now, Watts only claims an R value of 3.8 for this product, and that's probably very accurate because they're measuring the R value from the side of the PEX through their standard polyethylene foam over to the edge of their product. Hooray for Watts. They've done it right. They're a company of integrity. This is Jeff Zack for Z Supply. Thank you for your time.